Ever wanted to use a button instead of a lever for a lamp, but didn't know how? Well, let me show you. In order to make a redstone signal coming from a button permanent, we have to use a T flip-flop. A T flip-flop is a simple way to make a redstone signal coming from a button permanent. There are many designs for T flip-flops, so let me show you a few. So for the first one, just place two blocks like this, a sticky piston facing upwards and another block like this, then a button and the redstone dust right there, and a repeater facing this way. After that, just place a sticky piston right there and a redstone block. And that's all you need for the first T flip flop. As you can see, by pressing the button, it pushes the redstone block forward, which if we would take a redstone lamp right now, you can see it activates the redstone lamp and it stays on permanently. Now this flip flop is pretty noisy. So let's make one that is more quiet. Place three droppers in a way that they're like in a kind of circle with the openings, as you can see. So just fa one facing towards you, the other one facing up and the other one facing in the direction the redstone signal is going to be. So next up, place a hopper right there, a comparator facing again this way and a stone button right there. And then put any item you want inside of the dropper and then you're ready. Just place a redstone lamp there and there's your next T flip-flop. The thing that is important to note here, if you want the signal to go further, be sure to first place a repeater there because else the redstone signal won't go really far, as you can see here. Now, the next one I think is pretty clever. I found it on a Reddit page, so the link will be in the description, but it's just something new in my opinion. You don't really see those T flip-flops all the time, so this is basically the setup, just one dispenser this time, one comparator, redstone signal. It's important that you have two blocks here, not only one redstone dust, two blocks of redstone dust, then a repeater and the lamp. So if you press this button now, powdered snow will be ejected, which means there's only one bucket inside of the dispenser now without the snow, which makes the signal strength only one now. So if we collect the snow again, we can see that the redstone strength now is two, which means the lamp will be powered. So this is the whole T flip flop with powdered snow thing. And then finally, if you're playing in 1.21 or above, we've got the most easy T flip flop in the world. Just one copper bulb and a button. And there you go. That's all you ever need. There are of course a lot more T flip flop designs, so we could probably talk the whole day about it, but that's where I'll cut it for today. If you want to find out what's all the stuff behind me that we didn't see in this video, watch my short that I did about my redstone for beginners video for buttons and levers. And that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe as it helps my channel grow. And most important of all, stay curious.